Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Sims Proving Every Day. I'm Gina, and today we are back with Brittany and Brent, and I'm so excited for this part because we have got a lot to cover. Stick around until the end of the video for our look at Mount Komorebi. And remember, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Help your girl out, please and thank you. All right, so starting off with Brent, let's see, for his career, he is level eight of the botanist career. He looks like he's good to go for a promotion, yet it still says we have a lot to accomplish here for that promotion. So we'll see what happens. We'll see if it clicks over or not. As far as his needs, he's pretty good to go. He's a little bit hungry. And then for his aspiration, he did complete his first aspiration, and I went ahead and gave him the freelance botanist. So this is starting him kind of all over, but he's already such a high level of gardening, we won't have any issues going through this real quick. For Brittany's career, she is level 9 of the author career. She's still in the middle of her performance bar here. Um, we've got a little bit to do for her to get her a promotion. She is tired and probably needs a shower, but other than that, she's good to go. So their oldest child aged up to a teenager, and this is Bryce. I did go in and give him some outfits. And let's see, because he did just age up, his needs are going to be a little bit of a mess right now. And then for school, he is a B student. We do need to get one skill to level three, and we need to do his homework. For his aspiration, I did give him Renaissance Sim just because he hasn't given me any strong clues of what his personality is like. He, I think he's a friendly guy. He's cute. He's probably kind of popular. Um, so I think I'm actually going to have him join the drama club after school. And then I might have him go into acting a little bit later on. We'll see how he goes. So Bella is feeling very playful, and let's see how she is doing. To be perfectly honest, I can't remember if Bella has attended a day of school yet. Let me see. So Bella is a C student right now. She already has her one skill to level two. She does need to get her homework done, and she is an artistic prodigy. And then we have Brody, who is the newest addition to the family, and he's still a baby, and as we've talked about before, babies don't do much, so there he is. As I mentioned last time, they have officially outgrown this house, so we are going to be having them move, and I'm really excited for that because I did build them a house that has a little bit more time and effort than the tutorial house and this remodel that I did for them. The thing about the house that I built for them is it only has the bare bones of what you would expect to find in a new house. So counters, plumbing, lighting, that kind of stuff. It has no personal effects. The price tag of that house is sitting at just above 145,000 simoleons. So what we're going to do is we're going to have them save up. I'm hoping to get to about 150,000 simoleons and then we'll have them move. And then by the time they sell this house, we should have a little bit of spending money to get them some new stuff. Brent is at work, Bryce and Bella are at school, Brittany has the day off, and we are going to talk about the Simology panel real quick. I shouldn't say real quick because it might take a couple minutes. So when you click on that, it will tell you just about everything you want to know about that sim. It will tell you how many days they have until they age up. So Brittany has 20 days until she becomes an elder. This is the genealogy, so if you click on that, it shows the family tree. If she had parents, they would be above here, who she married, and then any kids. And then 
any siblings she if she had any siblings it would be on this line as well this next bubble is the stats so if you click on that you can see how many times your sim has done general things like cooked uh taken showers bathroom breaks times of sleep fights one um, some bummer things that might have happened goals completed emotions and some vampiric accomplishments so the first thing you're going to see about your sims are their traits and these will include the traits that you gave them any traits that they received as a reward for completing aspirations any traits that you purchased from the reward store and then any bonus traits from their aspirations the next section that you'll see are likes and dislikes if you gave your sim any likes and dislikes at the beginning or any that they've received through chance cards they will show right here and then lifestyles lifestyles came with snowy escape and lifestyles show how your sim is living but they come from how you've been playing so sims can have three active lifestyles at a time and many of the lifestyles start out as hidden, but as soon as an activity relating to that lifestyle is performed, it'll become visible. So if we click on the lifestyles button right here, we can see all of them. It'll give you a description of the lifestyle and how to affect it. And then some are hidden still. Lifestyles do take time to develop because it's a reflection of how a sim has been living their life. That being said, lifestyles are gained by doing certain activities or by being a certain way. So that means that lifestyles can change and they can also decay. So each time a lifestyle activity is done, the Sims get points. And Sims can get about 20 lifestyle points per day. And then you'll see a lifestyle daily cap message. And that looks like this right here. When 100 points are reached, your sim gains that lifestyle, and they'll have it unless the sim doesn't participate in those activities for a while. And then when that starts to happen, you'll get a message warning that they're going to lose that lifestyle. That way you can go ahead and take action or not. So right now, Brittany has the indoorsy lifestyle and the energetic lifestyle. I'm okay with those, but if you recall last episode or the episode before she had the workaholic lifestyle and I don't like that one because they'll go to work when they're not supposed to be at work and that's who wants to really do that so there's a couple of ways to get rid of lifestyles you can click on the phone and go to household and you can go to lifestyle coaching and this will send the sim off the lot for a little while and then the list will pop up of the lifestyles that they have and then you can choose which one you want to get rid of. The second way to get rid of a lifestyle is to go to the aspiration tab, go to the reward store and they have a lifestyle go poof potion for 300 satisfaction points. The next section that you'll see is public image, and this came with the Get Famous expansion pack. You can see your sim's reputation and their celebrity level. This is where you would also access their fame points. And she has got two, oh, must be a four star celebrity. This is where you can spend your fame points. On this side, it shows the quirks that came up. Quirks are just four randomly given traits that affect the way your sims behave. So she has refined palate. So anything under an excellent quality mill, she's going to feel uncomfortable. There is a quirk that I can't remember the exact name of. It's like obses being obsessed with their phones. That one makes me crazy. So that one I try to get rid of. So to get rid of quirks... You can again go to the Aspiration Panel, Reward Store, and a Quirk Be Gone Potion is 250 Satisfaction Points. Your sims don't have to necessarily be in the acting career to gain fame. Anything, like we'll go to the mailbox here, anything that has this little plus fame icon next to it 
will gain your Sims fame. If they don't do any of these interactions for a while, then they'll start to lose their celebrity level. The last section that you're going to see is the neighborhood action plans. This came with Eco Lifestyle, and this helps shape the world around you. And you can go to the voting boards and vote on the action plans that will be in effect for your neighborhood. Your neighborhood can have up to four action plans at one time, and then voting takes influence points. Your Sims can also use the influence points to convince others as well. So there are tons of ways that you can gain influence points. So unlike fame points, the interactions don't show what will gain you influence, but you'll see the little megaphone float up here with the number of influence points that you can gain for whatever you're doing at that time. You can also repeal the action plans, and in order to do that, you would visit the community voting board. Why are you in the house? She didn't invite you in the house. Neighborhood action plans, and it shows you, it tells you how to um, repeal them. You go to the community board and you start the process petition for repeal, and then you have to get five signatures before um, the next voting period starts. Now, there's a couple neighborhood action plans that are kind of annoying, like the water and power conservation, while I understand why they're in the game. If you're choosing to kind of ignore this stuff, which I have been this time, it, it can kind of suck when the water and power conservation goes to, into effect, because if your sims are not conserving power or water, they will get fined $100 every day until they get into um, compliance. And that's a little bit annoying. I have another save file that I'm playing, and the family is pretty wealthy, and they have a huge house. They get fined every day at 9 o'clock, no matter what. You can set your watch by it. And then if your sim is 18 or younger, they will also have the character values that we talked about last time. Ooh, he needs to work on a couple of these. So in addition to their careers and Britney's royalty report, um, the way that I've been having them earn a little bit extra money is every Saturday, Brent comes to the Finchwick Fair and he sells the harvestables that he has for a 10% profit. So that's how we've been getting a little bit of extra income every week. So we have over 99 bell peppers that we can sell for $7. So we're getting rid of all of those. So dragon fruit, here we go. This is, this is what I'm talking about. So we have 12 of them. They are worth 398 simoleons each. Orchids, we have 12 for $468 each. Parsley, not super impressive, but we're still going to get rid of it all. Pomegranates, we have 25 for 48 bucks each. Yes, please. And strawberries. Again, not super impressive, but we're still going to go ahead and do it. We're keeping the sturgeon for fertilizer. Oh, They'll take our gnome for $210. All right, go ahead. You can have that. And 29 tomatoes for 10 bucks. Sure, 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 sure. All right. So selling that stuff got us a profit of 13,633 simoleons. That is pretty awesome. I love that. All right, so let's go ahead and head home, please. It is also New Year's Eve today, so I want them to all kind of be rested so that they can all watch the countdown at midnight. Also, Brody did age up, and like I mentioned before, we just put his bed in here for now until we move. When Brody aged up, I gave him the fussy trait because if you recall, the last time we were with them, I was about to lose my mind with this child. And I think they all just missed the countdown. <laughs> uh, 
perfect. We missed the countdown, but we can still make resolutions. So let's, Brittany, let's make a resolution. Make a resolution. Um, get promoted. Okay. Oh, all right. Brent, let's go ahead and give you a resolution. Mm, raise a skill. Okay. Bryce. Oh, he loves that. He loves the countdown to midnight, but he missed it. I'm so sorry. That's my bad. All right. Make a resolution, though. Um... Let's see, what can you do? Okay, complete a milestone. That's good. Okay, I'm sorry, you can go back to sleep. And then Bella, I don't know if Bella can cre- So let's have Bella become a better student. All right. So if your Sims make a resolution, it will actually show in the Simology panel as well, and it will tell you how long your sim has to complete it. Okay, so it is now Sunday. It's actually a full week later, but I wanted to make sure that they had enough funds. It is moving day, so I have packed up all of their personal belongings, and we are going to head to the new house right now, and some of the belongings I might go ahead and get rid of. Some of them I might keep. You know how it is when you move. So let's go get a new house. So in order to do that, you can go to your phone and you can go to move household. And we are now in spring, but we are moving to Oasis Springs because I am done with that snow. And I have named this lot back here, Cypress Point. This is where they will be moving. And we are going to have them go ahead and sell what is left. So then they'll have some remaining funds here. All right, so this is their new home. And as I mentioned before, it just has the bare minimums right now. But let's go ahead and do a quick tour before we actually move them in. So they have a nice little porch. This is a decorative garage. We all know that there's no cars in The Sims. These cars are debug, so they do not add any value to the property. I gave them an old school looking library or office. And then when you go through this archway, this takes you into the master area. Right when you go in to the left, there is the master bathroom with a nifty little step down shower and I have play tested it and it all works. The potty is in there. I know that's a pretty large room for the toilet, but when it's just the one tile wide, it makes me feel claustrophobic. So I don't like that. So I gave them a little bit of a bigger area in there. Brittany and Brent each have their own closets. And then this is their bedroom. This is where the living room will be. Family room. Kitchen. An extra bathroom. They now have a laundry room. And then that's kind of just like a pantry. There's stairs going upstairs from the garage as well as the main part of the house. And so then upstairs, this huge room right here is going to be Bryce's room. And he's got a second little room because I thought he was going to be maybe like an influencer YouTuber, but he's really not into acting. He did not like drama club. I let him go ahead and quit that. He did show that he is into working out and wellness as well as computer programming. So I think that might be a path that we go ahead and explore with Bryce. He has a small walk-in closet and his own bathroom. This is a little loft area. This will be Brody's bedroom. He has a little walk-in closet as well. His own bathroom. I strongly believe in own bathrooms. 
And then this is going to be Bella's room with her own bathroom and a small walk-in closet. And in the backyard, they do have a pool. And Brent has a little bit bigger of a greenhouse so that when we start planting our perfect orchids and dragon fruits, we have a little bit more room. And that's what it looks like from the side and the other side and the back. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get them all moved in and we will catch up with them in a little bit. All right, so they are all moved in and I may have done something a little crazy. I took their funds down to almost $11,000 and completely forgot about the bills that are going to be insane in this house. So we will see what happens. I also did not even detail it out close to where I normally would. So yeah, this will be interesting, but I am so excited to be in this house. Today is love day and Bryce has an interest, uh, Joel, Joel Lewis, and they are out on a date and I had him bring her to a spa because they are both interested in the wellness. So I thought this would be kind of cute. Now let's see if it goes as planned. And also, this is the spa that I made. It is on the gallery, if you are interested in downloading it. Okay, and I think there's a little bit of a bug going on right now, because the whole family is very sad. It says baby whisked away. But Brody aged up. There was no baby taken away, so I have no idea what that's about. Real quick, it might have something to do with this other message that I keep getting. As a reward for being an A student, I got Bella a hamster, and it keeps telling me that the hamster died, and the hamster is just running in its wheel, so I don't know if it's kind of glitched out, and for some reason, the hamster dying notification is affecting all of their sadness for them thinking it's a baby. I don't know, but it started happening about the same time. Oh, I forgot. I had them impose a curfew. Eh. Okay, he's going to lose a lot of responsibility because I want him to finish this date. We're going to do it. He is going to get into so much trouble at home. They got a bronze, but I thought it was more important that they do something that they both enjoy rather than getting a gold medal on the date. Oh, yes. And see, she's totally fine. She did reach a level four celebrity, so now she's got this awful glow, which we can turn off. I just wanted you guys to see this. And when she's walking, she does that weird, like, stick up the butt walk. Not the snooty walk that you can assign to them, but, like, just the real slow, weird walk. Let's see if she'll do it. Yeah, that walk. To turn off a celebrity shine and get them to stop walking like that, you can click on them and then use normal walk style and turn off fame shine. There we go. Okay. And she is actually so active and on the treadmill so much that she is just getting really thin and I actually don't like that. See, Hammy did not pass away. Watch, he's upstairs in his wheel. I think the lot is definitely bugged because it won't let them. Oh, it'll let her clean it now. Okay. But it, oh, oh, he's leaving. Did he run away? Well, I mean, according to the game, he died, so I don't know. Clean the habitat. Oh, he's back. Okay. See, and it says that his food is full. Yeah, it's telling me that he died of starvation. That's so weird. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get out of the game and come back in, and hopefully that will be cleared up 
If not, I will try to replace this little hamster, which I feel bad about, but it's making me kind of crazy. Okay, so Love Day was awful for everybody else, but Bryce had a good time. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to exit out and come back in and see what happens. Alright, time for a big family update here. As a household, they are doing really well at first when they moved into this house. I was a little bit nervous about the bills. We've had three cycles of bills, which is funny because I've been playing off camera for so long that I can't believe it's only been three Sims weeks. Anyway, the bills are about ten to eleven thousand dollars, so nothing that they can't manage. The weird hamster baby being taking away glitch that fixed itself when I loaded back in. Hammy officially passed away, not from starvation or neglect, just from old age. But as you can tell, everyone has had a birthday, if not two. They all had cakes. Nobody forgot anybody's birthday. This sim over here, Joelle, she's just temporarily added to the family so that I can have a little bit of control over here. But our Brittany and Brent over here are elders. And once a sim reaches an elder, their age panel displays a little bit differently. Instead of telling you how many days until their next age, it tells you how many of days they've lived. So when that green bar gets to the end over here, that means time is almost up for that sim. Bryce is a young adult, and for his birthday, he got a kitten, who is now a full-grown cat, and that is Honey. Bella is now a teenager, and Brody is a teenager, but he just aged up a minute ago. They also adopted a husky. This is Mika. She's just the family pet. Um, she doesn't belong to any one of them. So Brittany and Brent have both reached the top of their careers. Brent is on his third aspiration. It is successful lineage. As I mentioned, he's at the top of his career, but I'm not having him retire until his dragon fruit plant and orchid plant become perfect. They are magnificent right now. I'm just trying to get them to evolve that next step, and then we will pass the reins on to one of the kids. Originally, it was going to be Bella, but I think Bella is going to be going away to college, so she won't be there to take care of the plants. So I think we're going to actually have Brody do it. So Miss Brittany is still on her second aspiration. Um, she's still stuck on this have a child get married, but hopefully Bryce will be doing that pretty quick here. As I mentioned, she is also at the top of her career, and originally I was going to have her retire and just not work, but she only works two days a week, so I think she can handle it. As far as her celebrity status, she is almost at five stars, and what I'm having her do is write a book every day or two, and that's keeping the royalties coming in, as well as keeping her celebrity up. Bryce I was really proud of. He ended up being an A student in high school. He's really into fitness, wellness, and computer programming. Right now he is a freelance programmer, but I might have to change that to maybe like tech guru or something because freelancers do not get actual promotions. So that will mess with his aspiration as well as this part of Brent's aspiration. This sim in the middle over here is Joelle, and she is Bryce's girlfriend. Again, temporarily added to the family, just so that I could have a little bit of control. And Bella is over here on the left. She is still a teenager. She is an A student, so that's good. For her aspiration, she's a painter extraordinaire. She is very, very creative. And because of the paintings that she's been selling, she has a very tiny bit of celebrity right now. Bella also received two scholarships to go to college and we're just waiting on her applications now. And finally, we have Brody and he is brand new to teenagedom. So we're going to see what he wants to do right now. I gave him the angling ace um, aspiration like his dad. And hopefully he'll be interested in taking care of the plants because that's what's going to be their lifeline for as long as we play this family. Um, so there's not too much going on with him right now. His traits are active and collector. 
He did get the happy toddler trait, so that's good. He's looking pretty good on all of his um, values and whatnot. All right, so it is just about 1130 on Sunday morning in fall, and I have disbanded the group. I've removed Joelle from the family temporarily. Again, she'll probably be back pretty quick here, hopefully. And then I had the autonomy turned off while I was doing the update just so that they would all sit here nicely and behave themselves. The autonomy is turned back on. So let's spend a day with them and see what happens when you have just about a full house. Something that I forgot to mention, when Bryce aged into a teenager, he tried to cook twice and both times he set the house on fire in the old house. But I've totally forgot to mention that, but it was kind of funny. Oh, they're having a family dinner. That's nice because it's so rare that Sims will get their food and go sit with each other. Instead, they like to play musical chairs, you know. One thing that I do love about this family is they all love to work out. Like, I wish I had that kind of motivation and dedication. I don't, but they all go work out on their own all the time. In Brittany's inventory are Bella's letters. All right, so I was able to get the letter. So what I did was I knew that we had placed it right there, but then it disappeared. So what I did was I sold this nightstand and it automatically put the letter in the household inventory. Anytime you sell an item that has something else on top of it, it will put anything that's on top of it in the inventory. Okay, so I had Bella. She's mad from something that happened at school, but I had her um, check her application status, and it says acceptance letter. So I'm guessing she got accepted. And because I haven't played university yet, I'm not sure if this means that these are the programs that she can get into because I think each school has more distinguished degrees. I'm thinking I'm going to send her to Brightchester for fine art if she can get into that one. Otherwise, she'll have to go to Foxbury to go fine art this way. Oh, she has to be a young adult. Okay, good. See, haven't played university. That's good to know. Bella's birthday is actually tomorrow. So then she'll be able to enroll. So that'll be cool. Okay. I feel really bad. But see, that's what happens when you're playing without cheats and without, you know, stuff like that. You Sometimes things fall through the cracks and unfortunately, Honey was feeling neglected. So let's make sure we give Mika lots of love. I've already fertilized these with really good fertilizer like four times and we still haven't got them to perfect. So let's... Oh, that one's not ready. This one is. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Woo! Perfect dragon fruit plant. <sighs> this one, the orchid is just a little bit slower, but we'll get there. Oh, Brittany has to pee again. Elders. Peeing and sleeping. We are going to go ahead and select Brightchester. Okay, so what this is saying is any of the grayed out distinguished degrees your Sims are ineligible for. So she can go ahead and go for the fine art distinguished degree, which is what I was hoping she could go for. So $636. Yeah. <laughs> I wish. I wish that's how it was. Okay. So we will actually give her... I'm going to give her $20,000 to survive on. All right. So I have a little bit of a bone to pick right here. <laughs> when you're enrolling... It walks you through the steps and you have to choose your housing at that point. 
Yet in the description of the university housing, it says to bring anything that you want to take to university with you. But then it just loads straight into this. So now she doesn't have access to like her violin and stuff like that. I That doesn't impress me. We will have her pick a room and get her settled real quick. And then um, we will go back to the main household. I am going to leave her to it and hopefully she does what she needs to do. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and leave this part here. We've got Brent and Brittany up to the top of their career. Bryce is on his way. Brody is doing his thing. Bella is off to college. We have one of two perfect plants, which was one of our main goals at the beginning. So we are going to go ahead and wrap this one up. Stick around for our look at Mount Komorebi. And here is the world of Mount Komorebi, and it has three main areas. We have Wakaba, which is a newer town, it looks like. And we have Senbamachi, and this looks like an older neighborhood. And then we have Yukimatsu, which is where you can do a lot of the snowboarding and skiing and all that good stuff. Here in the Wakaba area, we have five lots. We have a lounge, a rental, two residential lots, one of which is filled, and then an empty lot. My sim is at the lounge right here, so let's have a look around. So we have a couple of vending machines and a food stall. This is where the empty lot is. This world is very pretty. Again, I haven't spent a lot of time here. And it looks like this might be as far as our Sims can go that way. And a board to check about festivals and wildlife. And something interesting about Mount Komorebi is that your Sims can swim in the lakes and stuff. So we could actually have him go out there to swim if it wasn't like zero degrees. I don't, however, see a fishing sign, so I'm not sure if there is fishing available in this area. And I will say what I always say, please bring your sims here, walk around, explore everything because you never know what you're going to find. And this is the Sembamachi area. I'm sure I'm not pronouncing that correctly. And in this area, there is a park, a bar, three residential lots and two of the residential lots are filled. In this area my sim is at the park. You can see the corner of his plumb bob right there and let's see where we can go and what we can do. Again we have some vending machines, food stall, festival and wildlife board here and it does not look like there's any fishing in this area. So now we are in the area of Yukimatsu, and we are at the Onsen bathhouse. And besides the bathhouse, there are two rentals and one residential lot. Okay, so this is the bathhouse right here. And so this is the bunny slope version where your Sims can ski, sled, snowboard, all that good stuff. And these are the more advanced runs for the skiing and snowboarding. Over on this side, we do have another board to check the conditions on Mount Komorebi, as well as the wildlife report and the festival report. So this is where you can start some hiking adventures. You can take a, a meditative walk. And I'm not sure what the weather conditions are like year round. Right now we're in spring and it's freezing. I don't know if the mountain always stays snowy. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I do appreciate it. Next time we will be back with the family and I'm thinking it might be the last part. Until then, you know the drill. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Questions, kind comments, and feedback are always welcome. And remember, be a nice human. Bye!